Music has always been about strength and empowerment, a cathartic means of getting through the difficult times in your life. There's no better usage of the strength and the empowerment and the fearlessness that our music is meant to inspire than by being utilized by a soldier. We had a, a master sergeant in, 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 the, in the U.S. Army uh, go ahead and give us one of his bronze stars of valor, uh, uh, you know, saying that our music helped keep his platoon members alive. We're very, very fortunate in that way that we have that sort of connection. <laughs> The Decade of Disturb is just featuring the past 10 years of us being a professional band, but we've been together since August of 96. So technically almost, it will be going on 14 years this year. That's why we carry a video guy with us <laughs> on the roads to document the, the blurry nights. We have moments of clarity. <laughs> It's basically a deep look into the past 10 years of the band of uh, where we came from, how things started, how things have progressed and grown along the way. There's been a lot of in-depth uh, interviews and, and, and footage spanning 10 years of, of touring and backstage antics and personalities and different life experiences throughout. We're looking forward to it probably as much as everybody else is. So many moments throughout our career that have been big highlights. I think one of the first big opportunities for us was being on OzFest in 2000 and finally being on a high profile tour in front of tons of people. So that was taking us from playing clubs to playing for a built in crowd of 20,000 people. For me personally, one of the first vindicating moments was when we headlined our first radio show at the World Music Theater in Chicago. Just finally getting in front of the biggest venue that we knew of in our hometown, you know, to 25,000 Disturbed fans was a pretty amazing sight to see. And it was when we shot the video for Down With The Sickness. So this is very much a, a highlight and a key moment. You never really think about it or second guess what people are expecting from it, whether it's a record label or radio or whoever. We just get together and we continue with that mindset like when we were a garage band of writing music for ourselves that sends a chill up our spine. I don't think we've ever been good at the rainbows and puppy dogs type of subject matter, so we stick with, um, with where our, uh, our darker sides have taken us. Um, uh, but we don't want to throw a whole bunch of cliché rhetoric at you and say that this is the darkest or the heaviest or anything of that nature. There are songs on this record that are as heavy or heavier than anything we've ever put out. There are songs on this record that are uh, more melodic and, uh, than, than anything we've put out. There is a very wide spectrum and a very uh, wide palette on this record. We really think that this is a, a pinnacle achievement for us and uh, we hope that everybody else will, will agree. People everywhere really are always talking about global warming, warming and its effects and I think that uh, there's enough tangible scientific evidence out there at this point that uh, the effects uh, are undeniable. Uh, the species are, all, are already at the point of extinction and getting closer towards it. Ecosystems are in jeopardy and the future of our children is at risk. It's the big companies that are partnering with the governmental organizations that are supposed to be policing them in the first place that are at fault here. Uh, and hopefully this can bring more people to the cause and, and really start to champion the movement for real change. You know, the, the global summit that, you know, the climate summit didn't go very well, didn't accomplish very much. Maybe we can light a fire under people's asses. <laughs>